Welcome back everybody. In this video, what we're doing is shooting tile. I've seen a lot of uh, do-it-yourself body armor and stuff like that, that, you know, often brings tile into the mix. I've used it myself. I've also seen where they're starting to layer two pieces of tile. Uh, and I started wondering, is that twice as effective? Is two pieces twice as effective as one piece? And is the weight that you add for two pieces worth it? So I have a lot of alternatives. I have some thicker pieces of porcelain tile and I have some ceramic material that we're gonna go out and take to the range and shoot and see how it is. And I wanna mention that this idea is basically a version two or an alternative version of what I saw from uh, a channel that I'll, I'll link up over here or I'll just put the video. It is from Tech Out This Meow and uh, kind of see, you know, we kind of saw what porcelain works best. So let's go and see what uh, alternatives we can get with these, these different materials. And that's why I'm keeping with the 7.6 by 39 because I want to have a base, a medium, a control to kind of go against. I will be shooting them also against polycarbonate. Um, we're going a little bit thicker with this. We're going inch and a half polycarbonate on each one of these. Uh, I will have a clay back in just in case there's any back face deformation. At an inch and a half, I don't think anything will go through the polycarbonate, but uh, let's go out to the range and see what we get. So we're gonna go ahead and start with three inches of polycarbonate with 762 by 39 full metal jacket as a control and then we'll see what these strike face options do as far as controlling or slowing down breaking up the projectile so let's give it a shot clear let's go see Okay, so without any strike face, it went straight through three inches. And probably out the back. Okay, let's start the testing. We're gonna go ahead and test our strike face see strike face porcelain tile strike face alternatives see which one uh, can slow down the bullet like i said we're doing seven we're going to be doing 762 by 39 full metal jacket from about 15 yards out of the ruger american all righty let's see what we get All right, clear. Okay. Did not go through. Holy smokes. I think it's stuck in there. Tore it up to pieces. Okay. Moving on to the double stacked porcelain tile. I'm not sure how much better it could perform than a single tile that we just saw, but we're gonna go ahead. Clear. Let's see what she did. So what you see here is that there is a bit more damage to the tile. The coning seems to be quite a bit larger. But as I 
cut the tape off, what is surprising is that two layers of tile really broke down the projectile and on the polycarbonate there is literally nothing, no, no mark that's left on there. Okay, so we got the 20 millimeter porcelain tile up there. From the first two, I think we're gonna go ahead and step up to the 308, but we're gonna go ahead and hit this. Let's see, see what it gets us. Clear. Let's go see. Yeah, it didn't even go through. I'm gonna leave this and shoot it again with the 308 in this area. Okay. Okay. So we brought out the 308. We're gonna be shooting 7.62 by 51 M80 ball round. It's the 20 millimeter porcelain. And we're gonna see how well the porcelain holds up. Okay, here we go. Clear. Let's go look. Okay, so that was the 762 by 39. That was the 308 M80. Looks like a little bit or a lot more energy. See what they both look like from the inside. Ooh. Nothing. What in the world? That's a 308 right there. Okay, let's continue. Now we're working with some of the alternatives to the porcelain tile. I apologize for the wind noise, but. It's always it's windy here out the range, at the ranch. So what I have there up is glass. Now I wouldn't suggest using that as a strike face, but I hear it's a hard material. I wanna see how it compares to porcelain tile. So we're back to the 762 by 39, and we're gonna see what uh, how glass does against, uh, as a strike face. Clear. Let's see. There's the glass. Let me get this off. Well, there's the bullet. Looks like it went in a little bit. But it held together. Oh wow. It went in there a little bit. Okay, on to the next. Next up we have the kid shelf, the kin shelf. They use these for making porcelain tiles and other things such as that. Let's see how it holds up against a 762 by 39. Clear. Okay, let's see. There's where it went in. Oh, wow. Didn't go through. I'm a little shocked. Let's open this up and see what it looks like inside. 
Oh, wow. Maybe a little bit. Huh. It's stuck in there. Weird. Look at look at the lead in there. What the heck? So it slows it enough. Let's see if you can see it from my So it looks like it went into the second layer. Yeah, look, there's a little little bit of gapping in there. Okay, on to the next. Okay, next up we got my own little concrete creation. Ultra high performance concrete with some steel fiber. We're gonna see how that does. Unfortunately, my camera down range has ran out of battery and I forgot to bring another one. So, here we go, 762 by 39. Against concrete as a strike face. See what it did. Didn't go through. Let's see. Huh. I think that went through a little bit more than the other ones. Here, hold it one more time. Let me take this off and we'll see it from the back. Yep, same thing into the second layer. That one's stuck in there too. Okay, moving on. We are doing a kiln shelf again, except this time this one is made from silica carbide. So, Definitely a material that's used in strike face and modern body armor. Let's see how this one does versus the tile. Okay, didn't go through. Holy smokes. Whoa. Looks like part of the jacket, I think. It is, it's stuck in there, holy. <laughs> I don't think that's coming out. Let me, let me just take this off. Let's look at it from the back side. That is crazy. So that one went in also. Definitely tore that up though. Okay, so after a long day of shooting, what did we learn? We know that tile does slow down bullets. It works very well as a matter of fact. But what was the most interesting to me is how two layers basically had no no damage to the polycarbonate. I mean, it was, it was amazing. The thing that, that surprised me though, was the amount of damage that it did to the tile. This is gonna be a little hard to show, but one shot and it basically tore up the whole thing. So that got me thinking. I think had the two tiles been individually wrapped to hold up some of that structure and then wrapped those two together, it would have held together a lot better. That, that's maybe something to test in the future. And of course, the 20 millimeter, close to three quarters of an inch thick porcelain tile, 
Uh, again, no damage with the 762 by 39. 308, it did go through after we took this down. It is right there. That might be kind of hard to see. I'll kind of put that in the frame there. Nothing from the 308 though. I mean, nothing from the 762 by 39. And it went on. There were some interesting other, other things too. The glass, this was a half inch thick glass that I had just cut and put together, taped. It almost worked like bulletproof glass, although it wasn't bulletproof. 762 by 39 did go through the half inch carbonate, uh, polycarbonate. And there it is, right on the other side. So some of these were really neat to see from the back side. So that was that. And the alternatives that we used, the glass, the concrete, uh, the kiln shelves, they, they did all right. They're all right. But as far as for your money, the price, you know, tile, that's why it's getting used. It just slows down, it breaks down bullets, and we have uh, some interesting stuff coming up. So until next time, see ya.